The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is the fifth largest of the planets, and the largest of the terrestrial planets in terms of diameter, mass, and density. The Earth is the only known planet in the universe where life exists. According to our current understanding, the Earth formed 4.57 billion years ago, and life appeared on its surface within a billion years. While the Earth revolves around the Sun once, it rotates on its axis about 365.26 times. This period is called one year. The orbital velocity of the Earth is 30 kilometers per second. The tilt of the Earth's axis is 23.5 degrees. As a result, within one year, the angle of incidence of sunlight changes at the same location. And this is the reason why seasons change. Our planet rotates, relative to the Sun, once every 24 hours. Due to the centrifugal force caused by the rotation, the planet is somewhat flattened. The Earth's only natural satellite is the Moon, which formed about 4.53 billion years ago. The Moon's gravity creates tides, which keep the axis of rotation of the Earth at an almost constant angle, and slow down the planet's rotation slightly. The length of one day increases by 0.002 seconds every 100 years. The surface. The atmosphere of the Earth is made up mainly of nitrogen, 78%, and oxygen, 21%. Other important components are water vapor, argon, and carbon dioxide. At surface level, the average pressure is 1,013 millibars. This pressure is called one atmosphere. The atmosphere protects us from ultraviolet radiation and a multitude of meteors. The magnetic field of the Earth protects living organisms from cosmic radiation. As a result of the greenhouse effect, the average surface temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius. Without this effect, it would be 15 degrees below zero Celsius. The Earth's terrain varies greatly from place to place. About 71% of the surface is covered by water. The remaining 29% is covered by land mass. The underwater part of the crust is just as diverse as the land's surface with alternating mountains, mountain chains, ditches, and plains. The surface of our planet is in constant flux due to volcanic activity, plate tectonics, and erosion. The Moon The Moon was formed not long after the formation of the planets, as a result of the collision of the young Earth and another ancient planet of about the size of Mars. During the collision, a large amount of material was ejected from the Earth's mantle, which started to orbit the Earth, forming a disk. The material of the disk soon collected into a spherical shape due to gravity, and the Moon was formed. At that time, it was about 20 times closer to the Earth than it is today. The Moon's diameter is about one-fourth of the Earth's. It is an extremely large Moon in the inner solar system. Compared to its mother planet, the Moon is the largest natural satellite in the solar system. While orbiting the Sun, the Earth and the Moon orbit their common center of mass, located below the surface of the Earth. The Moon is in synchronous rotation around the Earth. Its axial rotation and orbital period are the same, therefore, we always see the same side. Its orbital period is 27.32 days, while the lunar phase period, from full moon until the next full moon, is 29.53 days. The moon has very important effects on the Earth. Without the moon, many things would have happened differently. The moon has had a significant influence on evolution as well. Tides played a role in drawing life onto dry land from water. Our natural satellite also stabilized the Earth's axial tilt creating the conditions for the climate to stay relatively constant. The major effect of tides on the Earth is the slowing of our planet's rotation, and therefore a gradual increase in the length of the days. 400 million years ago, one year lasted about 400 days, and the length of one day was only 21.8 hours. The high tides caused by the Moon's gravity have an effect on the Moon as well. 
As a result, the moon is slowly moving away from the Earth. Its orbit is expanding by 4 centimeters every year. Within the Apollo program, the first humans to step onto the surface of the moon were Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin on the 21st of July, 1969. Altogether, 12 Americans have been to the moon on six missions, the last one in December 1972. There has been no other lunar expedition since then due to the high cost. Currently, several satellites are orbiting the moon and analyzing its surface. Ice has been found at the bottom of the polar craters, which are not reached by sunlight.